Hey. <laughs> Welcome. All right, this is an update. But these are the orchids I was talking about in my best summer day ever video that are declining because of some weird signs on the leaves that I couldn't figure out. And garlic alcohol wasn't doing the job or it wasn't doing it fast enough. Thank you to all your comments. I really appreciate it. And it turns out that the majority say that it is a mite issue, but not spider mites. And honestly, yeah, not spider mites because I've never had webbing because, you know, that looked all very radical with the Arantiflameum and it's been going on for a long time and I've never had any of this orange residue with a tissue etc. None of that ever happened so might whatever might it is I went then to get myself some insecticide the only one that I could find as you saw I took care of this shelf I bleached everything down and then I sprayed even the wall and everything with the insecticide and I took care of my pots this morning before I even attacked the shelf I sprayed everything down with the same insecticide and let's have a closer look also at some of my paphiopedilums. So first of all, back in the day when I thought I was having a thrips issue with my Cygnogus lodigesii and the Alborirens in the back there, well, you know, those growths are done. So you can see that the growth of my Cygnogus lodigesii is done and dusted. There is still some green, so there is something that is akin to a bulb under that last bit of brown structure, but it is a done deal. There is nothing going to manifest itself from here on in, I'm just hoping that with regular treatments of this insecticide that I'm going to not have another growth decimated. It is possible that I have to change out the media on all of these orchids, but seeing as they're poorly, if I do that, then we might as well just get the garbage bag out and that would be a great, great shame. My little Lelia Lilliputana, she's a goner. Yeah, there's still some green there, but you know, she is history unfortunately what a shame i'm not going to bin her just yet but there you go not a pretty sight the same with my ceratostylus philippinensis she was going downhill treated her with garlic alcohol but you can see that the leaves and that silver stuff that is left behind hmm. there is still a lot of life left in this orchid to the visual eye but i don't know how far the damage is done anyway don't want to be losing that orchid oh my goodness not that I want to lose any of these orchids but it just so happens that once again I have special orchids that are affected by this and it is really getting my goat thankfully though that my little experiment with the maxillaria variabilis cutting that broke off when cousin it fell off his perch from a very strong windy day that one is not showing any signs and it's just been living down there as well thankfully so far I don't have any symptoms there and you can see that maybe maybe there are some symptoms in my little oncidium twinkle I know right <laughs> not exactly the greatest example of an oncidium twinkle but this is the red fantasy she was struggling with rot very very early in the season for reasons of a nasty spring and then I dealt with the rot and then I left her in the pot because once you take oncidiums out of the pot and try to baby them in an ICU setup then they really will be history but here we have some beautiful new growth starting and she was living on the same shelf as well but I haven't seen any symptoms with regards to the mites however I treated her as well and it is possible that because she is a weak plant she may go down hill if I didn't get to any prevention soon enough but anyway there's an update on my twinkle I wanted to do it separately but here we are we might as well address the worst shelf of my collection because yeah she was on that shelf all summer look there are new growths coming and if I can just keep her in that setup and pick away at all the pseudobulbs that are desiccating and declining and just keep her where she is so that new roots can establish themselves, I may just be able to pull the rescue mission off on her. These two orchids really hurt. These are my Orengus Lutealba Rhodostictar from Anonymous. They were growing so, so well. They get their daily soak in a little Tupperware and then put them back up and hang them on the other side of that shelf where they always have gorgeous bright light but never are in direct sun. It is a perfect location for them and I've never taken them off the mount because it was just working so well. But look at the damage. I know I'm losing one for sure. And the other one? Hmm. Yeah. 
The stronger of the two, anyway, was doing so much better. One of them was always a little bit of a weak one, but never mind, it was growing leaves. But the other one was doing so, so well. It is the end of the season, so I have no idea how I'm going to progress with these moving forward. Of course, I'm going to keep fighting for them, but I also treated them with a pesticide. And then my Paphiopedalum no ID doesn't have the silver affliction that the other ones were showing, but look at the leaves of the new growths. There is definitely something going on there as well. So I treated that with an insecticide and that lives on a shelf or let's say a sideboard, a buffet kind of thing in the dining room. <laughs> but it's on the top. It wasn't even close to the shelf below, but that doesn't mean that mites can't be transported and transmitted through the air. I get that. But these leaves look even totally different. However, it is possible that these symptoms are from the mites as well. What else could it be? Anyway, insecticide is on there. I am actually more annoyed that I had to buy in some industrial insecticide because if I cannot get rid of these mites, then I am telling you more orchids are going to go. And not because I want them to go, but because they're not going to make it. And here's my beautiful Paphiopedalum gratrixianum that I got from Fernanda Nathimento Orchids and Succulents. And the leaves are showing these little silver slivers as well. This would be a bummer to lose because I have been babying this orchid from jump, even gave it a fantastic peacock kind of support just to make sure that the leaves stay upright and that the energy is going through the cells as opposed to being stopped by a kink. If there is a strong wind, these leaves are definitely not very, very sturdy and I didn't want them to break. So with all that effort, of course, I want this orchid also to do really well. She is fully rooted in, believe it or not, after all this time and was doing fabulous until yep same thing silver marks starting to show on some of the leaves has also been treated now we just have to wait and see I want to say thank you to everybody who left those comments I think from when the video aired by the time I got the insecticide and treating and disinfecting and everything it is the fastest response turnaround time that I could possibly manage and I hope I got to everybody on time that still has more green than silver but the rest we will be having a little bit of a clear out and open up some real estate for orchids that are coming indoors when it is time to do so. Big, big shame, big shocker for me. Never ever seen anything like this before, but hey, there's always a first time and unfortunately I am reporting this is a first. Moving on from here, I will keep you updated. So if you want to see more updates, how we're progressing, what am I going to lose? Please consider subscribing because I don't know when an update will follow. Now it's time to just sit, wait and watch. I appreciate your time for being here, for watching. Thank you so very, very much. Make sure that you have yourselves a beautiful day, please. But on one condition that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.